Hi, this is the homework, parallel lines and transversals. Now, if you had me on 9-11, this will be due Thursday, 9-13. If you had me Wednesday, 9-10, this is, oops, excuse me, 9-12, this will be due Friday, 9-14. There's two videos, so don't forget to watch two videos and it'll be very obvious when you hand in your homework if you watch both videos. Okay, gonna put your name, date, period, and step one, we're gonna ask ourselves, would these be equal or supplementary? That's my only choices here. So if I trace this angle, notice it's a perfect match with the question mark. If I trace this angle, 49, Oops, it's not a perfect match with the question mark. So that's another way to do this homework. You can kind of trace the angle and scoot it over to the question mark and say, oh wait, that's not a match. So my only two choices are either they're equal, here they were equal. 122 has to equal X. Here, 49, that didn't fit. So 49 can't equal X. I have to, my only other choice is to add them together and equal 180. Here we go. I have an acute, I have an obtuse. Those uh, can't be equal. So if they can't be equal, I gotta add them together to make 180. Let's continue. This one's a little bigger than 90. And if I turn my paper around, this one's also a little bit bigger than 90. This is probably pretty useful for my little patty paper. That angle and that angle are a perfect fit. This angle is a little less than 90, a little less than 90. So I'm going to set these two equal to each other. Okay. Obtuse, obtuse, set them equal. Obtuse, obtuse, set them equal. Obtuse, obtuse, Set them equal. Uh, up, a little less than 90. I don't think that that picture is, but if I use my trace paper, a little less than 90. This one's a little less than 90. That means they have to be equal. Acute, acute, set them equal. Acute, acute. Both of them are less than 90, set them equal. Obtuse, obtuse, set them equal. Acute, acute, set them equal. Acute, acute, set them equal. Ooh, that one looks weird. Let's get out my trace paper. Obtuse, it, not a fit. This is, this is a fit, this one's not a fit. If they don't fit, they must add up to 180. Acute, acute, they must be equal. Obtuse acute, they must add up to 180 because they are different. They are not equal, so they must add up to 180. Acute, less than 90, bigger than 90. They can't be equal, they must be supplementary. Acute, obtuse, those can't be equal. They must add up to 180. Acute, obtuse, they must, no, one's big, one's little, they can't be equal, they must add up to 180. Acute, obtuse, not equal, so they must add up to 180. Okay, now all my questions are set up, so I'm gonna go back up to the top and solve for X. Oh, looky there, I already did it. Nope, X isn't by himself yet. Done. 
but let's double check that. If x is 131, uh, is 49 plus 131 equal to 180? If it is, looks good, you can check your own answer. You don't need me. Let's do another. 51. I think it's 129. Let's check our work. Is 129 plus 51 equal to 180? Yep, looking good. Question four, I'm done. Question five, done. Six, done. Seven, done. Eight, done. Nine, done. Oop, sorry. 10, done. All right, 11. I get 21 X's on the left, 23 on the right. So it's easier to move 21 than it is 23. I'll move that. So I get two X minus three, copy everything down. Now I'm gonna add three to both sides. Last step. Okay, now I'm not done. I gotta plug this back in to see what this angle is. I can plug it, I've solved the mystery of the X. I need to plug it back in, even though the direction said just solve for X. I could plug it back in and check my work. So six times 21 would be 136 plus nine. 145. Do the same thing here. 138 minus 3. Wait, 20, 18, 12, 138. 21. Oops, I made a math mistake there. So 126 plus 9 is 135. Here, 138 minus three is also 135. I was my own teacher, I know I got it right. So if you want for a bonus, feel free to plug these back in and check your work. Now let's just focus on the direction, solve for x. Okay, I've got nine x's on the right, 10 on the left, so I'm gonna move all the x's to one side. I get one x is equal to five. I could divide both sides by one, but I still just get x is five. Next, okay, 9x is over here, 10x is there. It's easier to move nine than 10, so I'll do it that way. And I get one x is seven. Again, I could divide seven on both sides and just get seven. Ooh, I'm gonna combine like terms this time. These two terms are alike, so I get 89x, add the two, and this two is keeping it from being by himself. So I get 178, divide both sides by 89. I think that's two, so 18 carry the one, yep. So x here is, x here would be 178 divided by 89 leaves me x is two. Awesome, 15. We set it up like this. Now let's subtract two on both sides. I get 48. So 48 divided by six Ooh, eight, six times eight is 48. So my final answer is eight. Hmm, now I can combine more terms. 13x and 8x, 21x minus seven minus another two would be minus nine. Add nine to both sides. Divide by 21. I gotta use a calculator. A lot of this, doing this without a calculator. 189 divided by 21 is nine. 
Awesome. Next, these terms are alike. 186 plus x is 180. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. I think I'm going to get a negative number. Now, what's happening here is not, they're not saying the angle is negative, which would have been a problem. They're just saying x is negative. So 126 plus a negative 6 would give me 120 for this angle, and 120 plus 60 is 180. So I actually double-checked my work. Yay. Keep it going. This would be 17x plus 78 is 180. X is 6 if I divide both sides by 17. Ooh, going to get a negative one again. Hmm. I still think that's okay. You can plug that in and make sure you didn't do anything wrong. One X and another X. 70 and 130. Mm, going to get another negative. That's okay. As long as my angles aren't negative. Thanks for joining us. Watch the other video to get the angle relationships.